What up, players? We'll about to stay up in this mood. Got a Warhammer 40k product unboxing slash review for Sexy Lilith Hesperax, Citadel Fine Cast. I'm gonna be doing a war boss tutorial on her. Probably probably coming up soon. Just I'm gonna see if I can get it in by the end of Spooky Toberfest. And I'm gonna try to get her done in my previous color scheme if you've seen my other Lilith Hesperax finished product video. Then this is gonna be done similar to her with similar to that one with a warm warm paint scheme, warm um, flesh scheme, rather than this pale palette dark Eldar one. So let's take a look at the sprues. I actually used one of the, I think her, one of the arms, her left arm had a knife like in this shot, but I took the knife and because she's holding it in a backwards grip, I, I used it for another model. So I, I, I don't have that, but that was on here right about there. But you've got the right hand holding a knife, and I'm going to be using this spear thing for her left hand. And according to the codex, I think it says that she's got, she, she's got this on it, so it's not like I, I'm going to be using an option that I'm not going to buy anyway. It comes with her. So let's take a look at the detail. I love this the base, and, and I remember when I when I was painting this up in metal, the base was really a fantastic little piece to have a molded base with all the everything already on it. I'd only seen it on a couple models before, like the I think uh, the Death Jester and. Um, Gosh, I can't think of... Oh, oh, the, the Space Marine Vanguard veteran jumping off of a Eldar piece. So I love how it gives the model height and just a lot of really good character. So you can see Lelith in her splayed leg spread stance ready to pounce with her, her heels up off of the, off of the, the terrain. Yeah, that, that looks really great. Really great dynamic action pose. Is that is that a mold line on her butt? Can't remember. No, no, no that's her legging. <laughs> I was like, fine, Cass, how could you put a mold line right there? So there's a lot of flash that I'm going to have to get rid of, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put her on her base, and then I will show you what she looks like when she's all built up. So here's my Lilith all built up, and as you can see I went for the same kind of dynamic with my other Lilith where the spear she's holding in her left hand is also mirroring the angle of the spear that she's standing on. And if we back up a little bit, you can see how that kind of ties in the whole aesthetics of the model. She's got this horizontal dagger in front of her as kind of like a, a guard. And um, like it, like she's in a guarded pose, and at the same time she's ready to pounce. And I think that's just a really awesome looking sculpt. The, the model is fantastic, and there's so much detail. And it's, I, I think I might have said this in the other video, but it's the first GW model that really evokes a strong and you know just a beautiful female figure. Like the, the the amount of detail they're able to get with the face and the just this this the way her brow is is sculpted to look like she's just got so much contempt for whoever she's fighting and um, you know the sweep of the hair and obviously the the musculature of the body this looks really really good and um, like I said I'll be doing a war boss tutorial on this soon to add to Spooky Toberfest maybe or. Or if, if I'm not able to, to do it then, definitely in November. But yeah, I love this model. I know a lot of people have her. I've been getting some private messages about about how I did her um, paint scheme and if I could recreate it. So I'll definitely be getting ready for, for doing that. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.